Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 Hemisphere 369BL Bunkhouse 5th Wall. We're going to take a minute, walk you around the inside and the outside of the RV. Then we'll close it all up, show you what it looks like closed. Also at the end of the video, we're going to show you a few sneak peek pictures at the new graphics and colors that they're getting ready to change to for their mid-year model change. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now up inside this beautiful Hemisphere 369 BL. This is the Big Brother product to the Wildwood Heritage Glen 369 BL. Basically, same camper. They run down the exact same assembly line, built by the same people. So they slap some different graphics and colors on them and give them different names, but same RV, basically. Just check the options as you do kind of compare pricing and stuff. So we're going to start here in the living room kitchen area and kind of work our way around the RV. So kind of looking to the back of the RV, you have a sofa across the rear. That is a tri-fold sofa. So that will flip out, as you can see here, into a full-size bed. Give you a little extra sleeping room there for some guests. You have overhead cabinets up there. Little end tables on each side of the sofa do have some storage. There's also USB charger and electric outlet on both sides of the sofa as well. Now the windows have pull down blackout shades on them. You can kind of see there in the picture. So that comes down, blacks everything out. You have a large Jensen flat screen TV here. Jensen stereo with indoor speakers, and then you also have outdoor speakers. A little bit of storage below the radio there and little cabinets. And then you have the Greystone electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater, but it's pretty cool. You see that in a lot of RVs nowadays. Island kitchen area here, you have two electric outlets on the island. You can also see the heat vents coming out the side of the island instead of in the floor. High rise sprayer faucet with a large single basin bowl sink there, a little graded cover. And then there's some storage and shelving also in the island area. And you can see the LED lighting around the toe kick area. theater seat directly across from your TV area so you can kick back and relax and watch some TV after a long day of exploring. You have lighted cup holders and little LED lights below there as well for night lights. You just tap the little cup holder and it will turn them off. Freestanding dinette with a table and extension on the table, I guess I should say. Uh, and that, the chairs also have uh, storage in them as well. Those chairs flip up for a little bit of extra storage there for, you know, plates or whatever you want to put under there, placemats, things like that. Back over to the kitchen area here, you have three full extending ball bearing drawer guides plus a big drawer below the oven. You have the Furion 16-inch uh, oven with the built-in light glass front, the LED lit knobs, triple burner stove top, and it has the flip-up glass lid, which gives you a little extra counter space if you're not using it, but also kind of acts as a backsplash when you are using it. Furion hood range with light and fan, and Furion microwave, so everything kind of matches. Nice little look to it there. And there's also storage beside that microwave as well. Now this one was also ordered with the upgraded 14 cubic foot high sense refrigerator freezer. So your freezer's on the bottom, refrigerator is on the top. This is technically an option. You can go with the standard if you don't like these residential style refrigerators, but you can go with the standard. The standard is smaller though, it's a 10.7. You have a gigantic pass-through, or I'm sorry, gigantic pantry here for extra storage. And there's even a drawer inside of there as well. And a nice big cabinet up top there. Beautiful, beautiful coach. They have little accent LED lighting and stuff up there also. Kind of going across the tops of those slides. Mm -hmm. 
Now here on the side of the pantry area, you have some hookups and stuff here as well. And that basically has the monitor panel there, has a couple air conditioner controls. You have your slide out switches, awning light switches, um, awning in and out button. The control just above that is also for the uh, auto level jack system, which is a nice upgraded feature there. Got little coat hooks there. Your electric box with your breakers and fuses is down below. And also the 12 volt heated holding tank pads are there as well. Now in here, you do have a little bunk room. So you have a sofa. There's some storage below that area right there, a little flip down front. That sofa will fold down, make into a bed, and then you have the bunk that also folds down. There's a window back in behind there, emergency exit window. But you could sleep two, three people in here pretty comfortably. Over here, you do have quite a bit of closet space and storage space down below. The kids have like a little desk area here if you want to use it for that purpose. And TV hookups here as well. Heat vent also blows right directly into this area. And then there's also an air conditioning vent ducted in here as well. Now up above us here, you will see as we go up the steps, there is a little loft area for another person to sleep up here. Little shelf area back there as well. Big window here overlooking your camp area. Next up is going to be the bathroom area here. And it's kind of starting from the top down. We'll pop up a few more pictures of this too so it's easier to see. But there's a little fan up there, air conditioning in here, skylight above the shower. You have the sliding glass shower area there, kind of enclosure. Pretty good sized shower. It has a little sit down seat in it. Probably about three inches of depth to it. So if you needed to kind of block that off a little bit and maybe give a small child a little bath, you probably could do that, but it's not real deep. It's probably only about three inches or so. Um, porcelain foot flush toilet. A couple pull out drawers right there as well, along with some uh, storage for your towels and linens. Then you have a traditional wood medicine cabinet, little sink area, a uh, little bit of uh, counter space there as well, and some more storage down below. Up here is going to be the master bedroom area. The bed is on a slide out, and this bed does raise up, so there is storage underneath of that. You have a little shelf on each side of the bed for storage setting your drinks or alarm clock, whatever you want to put up there. Pull down roller shades in here as well. On the left side of the bed down here, there is an electric outlet and USB charger ports also. You do have a little three dresser drawer area right there, full extending ball bearing drawer guides again. Room for a good size flat screen TV to go up on the wall there if you want to. Another big window overlooking your campsite area and a little sit down seat area there. You can have a big closet up front here. We'll pop up a couple pictures of this so it's easier to see as well. But on this side, when these doors slide open here, you have room for a stackable washer dryer if you want to do so. Got all your hookups there on the side. It's pre-wired for a King Wi-Fi antenna to be added if you wanted to do that. Little robe hook area there. You can see your closet goes all the way across. We'll pop up a picture of that, but there's even a big shelf area back there as well. But quite a bit of room in this RV. Lots of sleeping space. There's even electric outlet and USB charger port on the side of that dresser right there. All right, we are gonna head back to the outside, show you around the outside. 
and we're going to come back in, close this thing all up, show you what it looks like closed. Uh, also, we're going to show you a couple pictures of the new outside exterior that's coming. Uh, again, this is an early 2021. The new mid-year model change is approaching, but I wanted to show my customer this RV for him so he could check it out. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this brand new Hemisphere 369 BL fifth wheel trailer here. We're going to take a minute, walk you around the outside, and then we're going to go back inside and close it all up. And we'll show you some pictures again at the end of the uh, video here of what the new outside graphics and stuff are about to look like for model change. Okay, so starting on this side here, you can see obviously it's a fiberglass exterior camper, aluminum studded construction on your side walls. It's a laminated vacuum body type of construction. Nice, nice type of RV. Uh, deep tent safety glass windows. You have a power awning with a built-in LED light strip. Has adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. There's also a manual override in the front arm head up here, so you could manually crank it in in case of an electronic failure. Now on the front lower corner there, there is a solar prep and there's also the pet friendly leash hook there as well. You can see the little blue lights there. Those are two outdoor speakers, one on each side of that baggage door. So you got outdoor speakers, you can listen to the radio. Big storage compartment across the front section of the RV. Now also up inside this compartment right here, there is, obviously you can see a light with the battery disconnect. There's a light switch for the front cap lights, a bottle opener, and this was ordered with the residential fridge, so it has an inverter right there on the wall. Now, in between the baggage doors there is a outside electric outlet, cable hookup, and then just below the window is a mount where you could mount a TV. So you could watch some TV outside there. Just below that, on the frame, you can kind of see underneath of there is a gas line hookup for a portable grill. You can also see that enclosed underbelly under there, which is a really nice underbelly that is removable. It comes apart in sections instead of one big sheet where you got to tear it all apart to get to something in the middle. Inside this storage door here, there is a small mini fridge you can see there pop up. And on the right side is another electric outlet, so you could plug something else in there as well. This unit was ordered with the auto level system also, which is a nice upgraded optional feature. And that basically six point electric auto level system, again by Lippert, it's the ground control 3.0 version. You have the solid quad entrance step there, just flips up inside the doorway, but these solid steps are basically heavier duty. They can hold up to 500 pounds instead of the 300 pound hover style step that you'll find on some RVs. Large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. And then also right there, you'll see your model number. You'll see a couple stickers there to talk about the Hyperlite construction and also the Constructed in America sticker as well. The unit is a dual axle. We'll get to the tire size and stuff when we get around to the other side there. Again, guys, be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. will definitely save you guys a lot of money on a new RV. They let me do these videos for you guys just to try to get you up to date and teach you a little bit about the RVs. Now, the unit is got a crowned roof on the top so it does help with water runoff it's a full walk on roof so you could get up there and walk around do your maintenance and check on things if you want to uh, just make sure there's nothing sharp in your shoes so you don't damage it big window on the back that you've seen from inside there standard four inch square tube bumper on the rear now there is also a two inch um, luggage rack receiver on the back now that's really meant for either like a small bike rack or a luggage rack kind of thing. It's not a hitch meant to like tow a boat behind it. If you were going to do something like that, you would have to beef that up to make it a little more heavy duty to do such a thing. Now I put the slide outs in on this side just to give myself a little bit more room here. Um, but uh, you have three slides on this side of the RV that normally would be sticking out while you're using it. 
Now up top on this slide is the radio TV antenna that you see right there. Now you also see those little black tracks just above the slide and there's also some little black pieces on the corner of each slide. This is pre-prepped for slide out awning toppers. So if you wanted to add awning covers over top of these slide rooms to keep leaves and twigs, debris, rain, things like that from being on top of there, you can do so. It doesn't stop all the rain because obviously sometimes the winds blow and rain sideways, but it does help repel some water. Up top here is the stove exhaust vent. Your detachable power cord is right here. That's about a 30 foot cord roughly, somewhere around that area, 25, 30 foot. But it is detachable, 50 amp electric service cord. Now down below here, you'll also see your dump area. Now you can see the little white thing sticking down there to the right of the jack. That is your freshwater tank drain. Then you have a gray handle right here for your kitchen galley tank. Now just to the left below that running light there is your black handle and your gray handle dump. And those are actually fed up inside of the underbelly so that they're less likely to freeze right there. Furnace exhaust out right there. 10 gallon gas and electric water heater here as well. Now back behind here, this obviously is the other side of the storage compartment, but this also has your docking station in it. So on the docking station area here, you have your water heater bypass valve, winterizing pump kit set up here. So that's what this little hose is for also. Cable and satellite inlets down here. City water hookup, fresh water tank fill, black tank to clean out the uh, toilet tank you have an outside utility shower here as well and obviously a light there now behind this next door is your propane tank area so you have two 30 pound propane tanks right there with the auto changeover regulator now on the side of the RV right here you're gonna have some stickers we're gonna pop these up here for you this is gonna be your gross vehicle weight sticker that basically has your axle sizes and some weights information there as well as your obviously your gross weight um, your next you're going to see your unloaded vehicle weight sticker pop up which basically has your VIN number on it along with the dry weight of the camper and next is going to be your tire sticker telling you your tire size and the proper pressure for the tires and next after that is going to be your cargo carrying capacity stickers, which just kind of tells you how much you can pack into the RV before you really risk damaging it. Obviously here on the front, we are looking at the front fiberglass cap. Again, colors on the outside are getting ready to change. We'll show you that at the end. And right there, you can see an LED light strip also built in. Underneath of here, you do have another storage compartment. You've got your spare tire stashed up in there along with a couple batteries. To the right of that uh, little storage door area there is your auto jack controls from outside. So that basically helps you hitch up and unhitch. The main control for the auto level is actually inside that we talked about there. Um, and then you do have another light here as well. So we are going to head back inside, close it all up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're back inside the RV now. And I just wanted to kind of start up here in the bedroom area, close this part up, show you what this looks like, and then we'll head back downstairs. So your slide out button is right here on the wall. All you gotta do is hit the end button. And this slide out is the uh, end wall slide out by Lippert, Schwintech slide wall basically. Um, but uh, it's a pretty simple setup when it comes in. You just push the button. You can let off the button if you need to to stop and move something or just kind of check something. But when it comes in, it butts right up against the dresser area there. Now this part right here 
does not allow you to open or close the door all the way. So if you think you're going to stop at a rest area and have to come in here, it's best to prop the door in open mode so you could come in here, take a nap during a rest area stop or something like that. Now going back to the downstairs section down here, the bedroom slide for the kids room is the middle button right here. And all you got to do, again, push the button, bring this in. So pretty simple. If you need to come in and out of here, you can do so. Kind of get to some of the stuff the kids may need. Now back here in this section, you're going to have again two more slides. So we hit the button to bring in our kitchen slide. This kitchen slide is going to basically come right up against the island for the most part. So you can kind of see this is a tight fit. That's why they even notch out that counter there just for that big refrigerator to kind of fit around. But it comes in nice and compact. And then you got to do the same thing for this big slide. Now on the big slide, I'll stop it here for just a second so you can kind of see this. But the floor, even on the one in there, in the little bedroom area and stuff, actually kind of comes up because it's a flush floor slide. That comes up over the main floor, so it kind of tilts inward a little bit. Um, so it just kind of looks a little bit different when you're doing that type of slide. But just thought I'd give you a shot at seeing what that looked like there. Hit the button again, slide comes right on in. This comes in real close again to the wall right here. Kind of see what this looks like. So when this is in, you can't get to the kitchen area. But you got your controls right there. You can reach up, open up the slide real easily. But even if you did stop at a rest area, just want to come in, use the bathroom, something along those lines, you could come in here, do that. You could use the kids' room. You could use the loft, you could use the bathroom, you could use the master bedroom. But the back part of the RV, you would have to bump the slide out out. We're going to take a second here. Just wanted to kind of, again, show you the outside shots real quick of the new color. So we're going to pop that up for you to take a look at. So you'll see that the fiberglass color changed a little bit on these pictures. You're going to also see that the lower skirting metal changed along with the color of the front cap changed as well. So just some little differences there. And there's going to be some minor tweaks to the inside as well, which we'll kind of go over that. We've got some more of the new models getting ready to roll in. So again, guys, really appreciate you checking out the video. Um, be sure to check out Couches RV Nation, guys. Appreciate you a bunch.